After much debate had taken place, Peter got up and said to the apostles and to the presbyters, my brothers, you are well aware that from early days, God made his choice among you that through my mouth, the Gentiles would hear the word of the gospel and believe. And God, who knows the heart, bore witness by granting them the Holy Spirit just as he did us. He made no distinction between us and them, for by faith he purified their hearts. Why then are you now putting God to the test? By placing on the shoulders of the disciples a yoke that neither our ancestors nor we have been able to bear. On the contrary, we believe that we are saved through the grace of the Lord Jesus in the same way as they. The whole assembly fell silent, and they listened while Paul and Barnabas described the signs and wonders God had worked among the Gentiles through them. After they had fallen silent, James responded, My brothers, listen to me. Simeon has described how God first concerned himself with acquiring from among the Gentiles a people for his name. The words of the prophets agree with this, as it is written. After this I shall return and rebuild the fallen hut of David. From its ruins I shall rebuild it and raise it up again, so that the rest of humanity may seek out the Lord, even all the Gentiles on whom my name is invoked. Thus says the Lord, who accomplishes these things, known from of old. It is my judgment, therefore, that we ought to stop troubling the Gentiles who turn to God, but tell them by letter to avoid pollution from idols, unlawful marriage, the meat of strangled animals, and blood. For Moses, for generations now, has had those who proclaim him in every town, and he has been read in the synagogues every Sabbath, the word of the Lord. Today's responsible psalm is, Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples his wondrous deeds. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm, not to be moved. He governs the peoples with equity. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, 
As the Father loves me, so I also I love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. The Gospel of the Lord. In a very short reading today from the Gospel, Jesus links two of the fruits of the Holy Spirit, love and joy. Secondly, let's take joy. Jesus wishes to share the joy he feels with his disciple. Remember, this is still the evening before he was going to be crucified. This is at the Last Supper. He says, my joy I am sharing with you so that your joy may be complete. What joy does Jesus have knowing that the next day he's going to be mocked, trialed, scourged, and crucified? It's going to be the worst day of his life. And yet, he is filled with joy. Doesn't sound right, does it? The joy that Jesus experiences comes from his love of the Father and the Father's love for him. That is the joy, not ethereal joy that we experience here and there and so forth in our human life the spiritual joy of the love of the Father in him brings him great, great joy, no matter what the circumstances are going to be regarding his life within the next day. And he wants to share that joy with others because he's sharing his love of the Father with his disciples. So love and joy, they go together. It seems like it shouldn't be. It seems that Jesus should be frightened. It seems like he should be worried. It seems like he should be uh, depressed. It seems like he'd be uh, anxious about the next day. He isn't at all. Completely, completely confirmed in the love and joy of his Father. And that's one of the last gifts he wants to give to his disciples the fruits of the Holy Spirit, charity, joy, peace, patience, and so on. He's sharing the gifts and the fruits of the Holy Spirit with his disciples so that when they see what's going to happen to him the next day, they won't become so frightened and so upset and so, even though they did, you know, just read the, uh, read the scriptures and see what, what happened to them. They all ran away they were in fear of themselves being persecuted. But he tried to incult in, inculcate in them his love of the Father and the Father's love of him so that his joy can be communicated to them and their joy would be complete. Same with you and me today. God loves us no matter what. Even in our sinfulness, God still loves us. Why? Because it's his Father's love in him that makes him love you and me. Undeservingly of it, true, but he loves us and he wants to share his joy that comes from his love of the Father with you and me. So we are to be people of joy, no matter what's going to happen to us today. Maybe we'll have a bad day, you know, or maybe things won't go right today or tomorrow or whatever, and, you know, might be some chaos and mix. So what? We still have that joy that Jesus communicates to you and to me 
by word of scripture, and especially by word of the Eucharist of his body and his blood. So let us love today. Let us find joy today. Let us be at peace today and always. May I invite you to stand together and to share our petitions with the Lord, that you know he hears and he answers all of our prayers. Today's response is, Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis and for all ministers of the church, may they lead by listening to the unheard and marginalized voices in our church. We pray to the Lord. Good Lord, hear our prayer. For civic and governmental leaders, may they work to satisfy the needs of the most vulnerable among them. We pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and their caregivers, we pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who asked us to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For those who had died, especially Thomas McAndrew, for whom this Mass is being offered, may they be at peace with God, we pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother, also the source of love, joy, and peace in our lives. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins, now and the hour of our death. By the mystery of this water and wine, and we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbles himself to share in our humanity. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given in human hands and made, it will become for us the bread of life. Bless you, Lord God of all creation. Through goodness, we have this wine to offer for the divine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. May I invite you to stand now and together with love, joy, and peace in our hearts. Let us pray that your sacrifice and mine will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. O oh God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead. Grant, we pray, that we have come to know your truth. We may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. For you right and just that you in our salvation at all times to claim you, O Lord, but in this Easter season, to lodge you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For when the old order is destroyed, the universe is cast down, is renewed, and integrity of life has been restored to us in Christ Jesus. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts 
sing together the unending hymn of your glory as we all acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Be holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. For at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke a gift to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, handed it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks for have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, and Thomas and Bacandu, who served at your altar, and who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them, Lord, into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, St. Joseph, her devoted husband, the great St. Paul, and all of the blessed apostles, martyrs, and saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs of eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. The love and joy and peace of Christ within us, let us pray as he himself has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and grant us peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety and distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, if not in our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us happily share that peace and joy with one another. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world and mercy on us. Behold the love, joy, and peace of our lives. 
the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we this morning who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Christ died for all, that those who live may live no longer for themselves, but for him who died for them and is risen. Alleluia. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those who have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us joyfully go in the peace and love of Christ. Thank you all. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.